Now let's go to President Joe Biden, who's had yet another incoherent press conference. This one was so bad that his handlers moved in to uh, cut the question and answer session short. Speaking in Hanoi, the president, uh, well, he was confused. Look, nobody likes having celebrated international meetings if you don't know what you want at the meeting, if you don't have a game plan. He may have a game plan. He just hasn't shared it with me. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Look, he wants a lie down, and I think we're all on board with that. I think he needs a lie down. But when Ian is speaking in uh, full sentences, uh, he says dumb stuff like this. And the only existential threat humanity faces even more frightening than a, than a nuclear war, is global warming going above 1.5 degrees in the next 20, 10 years. And we're in real trouble. There's no way back from that. What do you think about that, that we've got to be far more worried about global warming being the end of the world than nuclear war? Rita, this whole performance by Joe Biden, I will say, is an utter embarrassment to America. I actually am at the point now where I almost can't watch this anymore. It's just so demoralising. Don't say that because I've got a Biden extravaganza yes, we coming want the up viewers later. To tune into the Biden extravaganza. So you need to watch I absolutely that. Absolutely do, but Rita, I it just want to get that mic. Surely someone should just get that microphone and save him from these embarrassing situations where he makes no sense. He speaks in riddles. Uh, how on earth is this man running the country? Well, uh, yeah, as someone said, you know, is he running the country or is the person who controls his teleprompter running the country?